Hi, it's Mark here again. Uh, this time to show you how to quickly create uh, a window frame. Um, as you can see, you've got pieces of glass in here as well. Um, I'll just delete that and start again with the Control Shift K. We're on cube at the moment, a normal cube like so. Control Shift K to get rid of that. Click on the cube. We can just call this window. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, as you can see up here, select hidden faces is on, which allows me to select all the hidden faces all along that line that I chose on the rectangular select. Oh, sorry, and I've just pressed delete by mistake. I can press the backspace just to get rid of that. Now, here you've got a scale of 0.1 and if we go back to here and onto the scale key like so, if you press the control key down you end up uh, changing the whole thing. If you press the shift key down you're going down but you're not really being very accurate. So, so Control Z, Z which is the undo, and press Control and Shift, and just come down like so. Now this is going to be quite a thick um, frame, but um, you get the idea. You can always tweak this to a different size. At the moment, it's a 10 centimeter frame, but it's not a problem. Now, from here, you can go to the edge section, and because you chose that inner square, it now automatically uh, selects all four edges and if I press control, uh, sorry alt e like so I can then have four sections now I can basically do the same thing with those four sections so I can control shift down like so too far there but you can get an idea like so now that's basically the frame what I can do again this is for speed you can select the whole thing keep the control key down and you can left click each one and that means that deselects those but keeps the rest of the frame selected I can go to here and actually not to here to extrude and we're 0 0.1 let's say 0 0.05 and then we can just extrude like so and what you can see is basically a frame which you can again select everything control deselect each section like so Go to, I've got some wood here. We'll go for old wood. And we've now got an old tight wooden frame. I've kept these in. I could easily just uh, backspace and get rid of them. And then you've got hollow windows uh, with no panes in. Or you can control Z. Again, control Z is great for undo. So if you do do anything, don't do too many things at once. Then you can control Z and go back and try it again. Trial and error is always the best way. Now, I've also got something here which is glass. I've got a glass texture. And all I have to do is keep that left button down, click on that. You've now got a little bit of glass here, like so. Now, if I go into that, and go into the colour on the material itself. This is where you can change how opaque or not it is. Like so. so if it's a misted window, it will be more. So you can see how you can change that. So we'll leave it like that, like so. And as you can see behind where you see the horizon there and the horizon there, you can see there's a pane of glass in each. 
Hopefully that will be uh, useful to people when they're building uh, houses and other uh, construction elements. And uh, again, you can see how fast you can do these things with accuracy. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.